All right, here we go. Okay, so here we go. So finding the missing angles. All right, so what we first, this, this is what the problems that we're going to be doing. So if you have this, you got something like this, right? And I say from here to here is, let's say, 23 degrees. Well, what's the rest? What's the rest? I don't know, right? If you, I give you a problem like this, and I say, all right, this is um, 42 degrees. What's this if this is 2x plus 1? All right, so you have x, 23, and then what if this is 2x plus 1, and this side is 42? What is your x? What is this side? Right? So that's kind of what we're going to be doing. But the first thing you need to understand is degrees, all right? Angles. Angles are measured in degrees. So angles are measured in degrees. It's a little, little circle. Okay, so that's, and whenever they say something, they say, what's the measurement of angle, let's say X? What's the measurement of angle A? Uh, whatever it might be. Okay, so for the most part, what we want to do is we want to find the measurement of, of certain angles. Okay, now. Here's the thing is that before doing this, you need to understand degrees. All right. So we're going to go ahead and give you like a little review. Okay. Of degrees. So here's your review. So the review. Okay. Here's first. Not a perfect circle, but how many degrees is a circle? How many degrees? So if I ask Dominic, how many degrees is a circle? Do you remember? Thank you, Dominic. Oh, sorry. Amanda, I don't know. I know what. All right, so 360 degrees. Don't you need a thermometer to tell the degrees? No, but but in general, everybody knows that universally it's 360 degrees. So if you think about basketball, some of you guys like basketball, even football. They say, hey, he did a what? A 360 degree. 360 degrees. That's a lot. 360 degrees uh, turn, slam dunk, right? That means a complete turn. That means I can start from here, anywhere. If it, I go all the way around in a circle and I end at the same spot, that's 360. I can start here. I can start right here. As long as I go all the way around, that's 360. All right? So just make sure you remember that 360. Now, what 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 about if I break it up? So let's draw another circle. And if I break it in half. Okay? So what is that? What's half of one of 360? 180. 180. Right? So so if you go half a circle, that's 180. So from here to the other side, that's 180 degrees. Okay? And then this side, all the way, halfway, is also 180 degrees. 
Now it doesn't have to be in the middle. It could be like it could be like this. Watch. Let's draw a little circle here. And it could be this way. And that's also 180, 180 because it's half and half. 180, 180. See that? I could draw another circle. Okay? Let's go ahead and draw another circle. Mister, can it be this way? Yeah, it could be that way. As long as it's half of it. So half of it is 180. 180, 180. Okay? So far so good. It's pretty easy. Okay? Now the next one is... Can we break down the 180? So 360, 180. Let's break it down more. So let's go ahead and do this. We did half. Right? Now let's break that into half. So I'm going to cut that. And now if we just take one piece of it, but there's four pieces. What do you think each of the pieces, how many degrees is each piece? 90. 90 degrees, right? This is just a review of what you guys should already know. Some of you guys probably forgot. It's okay. You know, so this is 90, 90, 90. Don't forget the degrees, 90, right? Now, that's 90 degrees because 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360 or 90 times 4 is 360. Now, how do you represent that? How do you represent 90? Right? So here, remember we said 180 is half a circle. That's how you represent it. But how do you represent 90? Okay? So universally, this is the way you represent it. There's a little box right here. So whenever you see a box, that's called a right angle, which means 90 degrees every time. Doesn't matter, all right? If it's weird, it's that box. Whenever you see a box, it means 90. Don't let it trick you. But mister, it's not like an L. Yeah, but sometimes it, it might be like this and they'll put a box. As long as they have a box, it's 90, all right? Got it? So here we go. So here, we're going to have four boxes, all right, one, two, yeah, so one might be bigger than the other, that's fine, you know, and then here's another one, okay, and then here's another one, all right, here we go, yeah, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, right, sorry, I don't know. All right, so it's got 90, and you guys are going to be seeing 90, 90. When you hear it in the radio, uh, you're going to say 90, 90. It's like, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. I was in math mode. It's all good. So we got 90, all right? Now, I could even go further and break it down, break it down, right? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we go. So we got a circle. We got... That's the 180, right? And then there's, and then now it's 90. But now let's break it up even more. So what do you think if I cut that in half? And then cut that in half. Sorry, it's, it's what is that going to be? This right here. What do you think? Anybody? So what if I break up the if I, yeah it's gonna be now forty five you know so now the see how the box is ninety but then a little line could mean anything but here it's gonna be forty five forty five so forty five here too right forty five so they're all gonna be forty five all right forty five co forty oh sorry sorry sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sorry about that. Wrong. All right, so yeah. <laughs> so got it? <laughs> Woo! Stop myself. I, <laughs> I stopped myself. All right, here we go. 
Oh man, I make my I have, I have fun, guys. I, I'm having fun. All right, so here we go. So everything is 45, 45, 45. All right. So that's all you got to remember. So once again, um, Drew, what's how many degrees in a circle, Drew? Very good, Drew. If I cut it in half, Frank, if I cut the 360 in half, how much is each side? How many degrees? Thank you. Um, Gabriel, if I cut the 180 into smaller pieces with and it has a little box, how much is that little box? How many how many degrees? Very good. And if I break up the 90. Um, Leah, oh, Leah, hey, welcome, Leah. Yeah, if I break up the 90, how much is that, Leah? 45. 45, good job, all right, that's it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on these two right here. A little bit of this one, not necessarily the 360. So as long as you remember, half a circle is 180. You just got to remember that, okay? So now, let's go ahead and do that real quick right here, all right? So now, remember, so half a circle means a line. So whenever you see a line, that's half a circle. So let's go ahead and do an example right here. Here's a line, okay? Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Here we go, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. We speak no Americano. Here we go. Okay. So remember, this line is always 180 because you have the invisible line. You technically don't do the. You don't draw the whole thing but you you envision it okay so here you're going to envision this so if i say hey this side is um let's say 23 degrees right and then let's just put a b and c all right this angle right here is 23 degrees I want you to tell me what this is over here. This is your X. So what do you do? Remember, see how now this is half a circle, right? So when you add 23 plus X, that's going to give you that 180, right? The 180. So now you're going to set it up algebraically. So here we go. X plus the 23 equals 180 and there's your mathematical equation x plus 23 is 180 so what do we do remember we did this last trimester we got to get rid of the what you got to get rid of the 23 And that cancels, which leaves x equals to what's 180 take away 23, which you can use here. Uh, my calculator, let's see, 180 take away 23, 157. So 157 degrees. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Let me pause the video real quick. While you guys are writing, okay, let me pause. So, all right, so good. So on the next problem, okay, you have a similar situation. So remember, a straight line, this whole thing, if this is 55, right? But if you make a half a circle, that's 180, right? So again, I'm going to put equals 180. So X plus 55 should equal 180, right? You're doing the same thing. It's just different numbers. So what do I do? Uh, let's see. Mario. Mario Sanchez. 
What do I do if I have x plus 55 equals 180? What do I do? What? Huh? How do you just like subtract 55 from 180 or like whatever degrees it is? Can't you just subtract it by 180? See, like you're right. But algebraically, make sure you understand the format because there might be a test to say, okay, which one is the correct equation? They might give you this and say, which one's the, the correct equation? You know what I mean? So, yeah, you're already thinking, oh, can't you do this? See, your mind's thinking, hey, wait, wait, can I just do that? You're you're doing this part already, right? This part right here? Yeah. 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 So, so the whole thing is make sure you understand how to set it up. And that's the whole purpose of the lesson is to understand that your equations should be like this. Because there may, might be a, a test problem and says, what's the correct equation? X minus 55 equals 180. X plus 180 equals 55. You, you know what I mean? It, they might. So you got to make sure that you understand that. That's why we're doing this. So you understand how to set it up. Okay. So what do we do here? We do minus 55 all sides. You that? So what, what Frankie's talking about is this part right here. Can I just do that? Yeah, but you got to understand how to set it up. That's the whole purpose. All right? Your mind's already saying, oh, can I just do that? Yeah, you can, but make sure you set it up. All right? And just set it up so then x equals, so what's 180 take away 55? What's 180 take away 55? Anybody? Anybody? Come on. Come on. Anybody? Nobody. What? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 125 degrees. Degrees. Don't forget that little bubble. All right? So far, so good. All right, let me go ahead and pause this so we can move on to the next one. And that's all we're doing. So as we continue... Now, on the straight line, there's three different angles, all right? 46, 30, and then X. Remember, when you add them all up, it's going to equal how much? Um, Denise, if I add them all these up, it's going to, it should equal how much, Denise? Thank you. <laughs> All right, so good. So, yeah, it's 180, right? So, let's go ahead and set it up. 46 plus 30 plus X equals 180. See that? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm still working on it real quick. And, all right. So, Davin, what should I do on this side? Davin? 46 plus 30 plus X. What should I do to make it easier for me? Oh, Davin. So just to let you guys know that I have a little tally, and I'll be marking people who don't reply. Okay. I, I already called the parent, emailed the parent yesterday. So they're going to check up on their kid, see what happened, because I called on them three times. So, Davin, are you there? No? Okay. No problem. I'm not going to bat. Uh, it's not going to be a battle. So it's, you deal with with home. All right. So what do I do? Someone said it. You add 46 and 30, right? So that's 76 plus X equals 180. And here I have a circle. Now I have to get rid of something, right? So let's see. Uh, Matthew, what do I got to get rid of? Correct, and it's positive, so it's going to be minus 76, both sides. So x equals, what's 180 take away 76? Now you go ahead and use your calculator. Very simple, 180 take away 76 equals, and who got the answer? Anybody? Type it in. 
104 degrees. And there you go. There you go. 104 degrees. So when you add up, there it's not drawn to scale. Mister, how could it be 104 if that's only a, a little section? It might, it's, it's not drawn to scale. All right, sorry. I'm just like, it's not drawn to scale. So as long as you understand this. Yeah, it should have been the other way around, right? This should have been 30, 46, and so forth. All right? Okay. Yeah, Frank, you raise your hand. What's up? Can you hear me, mister? Yeah, I could hear you. Um, are you going to, like, say if on a test we forget to put the little degrees thing? Are you going to mark them down? No, nah, I'm not. That's fine. Okay. You got it. You got it. All right, here we go. One more problem, all right? Here we go. So these are kind of the basic stuff that we're doing. So number five. Again, so we got this. We got this. I'm going to put a little box. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and put A, B, C, D. All they want to do is find your X. Okay, find your X. Let me see if I'm recording. No. Wait, why did it stop? Oh, man. Hold on, guys. Hey. Why did it stop? I just paused it. I guess I have to do two. All right. Hold on. I, oh, there it is. Oh, it's not recording. Okay. So here, sorry about that. I had problems with the recording. Okay. So what do I do? So again, it's a straight line, right? So here's your straight line. And look, it's a half a circle if you draw the whole thing. It's a half a circle, so we know that it's going to be 180, right? It's going to equal 180. However, mister, but they, I have X, I have 20, but then I don't have anything here. But what did I tell you about the little box? What did I tell you? How much? It's always 90, always. Even if it looks weird and they put a box, it's always 90. So let's put 90. All right, so now do the math. All right, so 20 plus 90 is 110. X plus 180. Okay, uh, uh, Jacob, what do I do now? What do I do now here, Jacob? What do I do now? Get rid of it. How? Very good. Subtract 110. See? 110. And then your X equals 70 degrees. Well, let's check it. 90 plus 20 plus 70. Yeah, 70 plus 20 is 90. 90 plus 90 is 180. We got it. Right, and that's it. That's all we're doing, guys. Um, next week it's gonna be a little complicated and then a little bit complicated. So I just did wanted to do the basic stuff. All right. So that's it for the notes.